In previous videos on cell signaling, we talk about the idea that if we have a cell right over there, and let's say it has some type of receptor, it doesn't actually have to be on the cellular membrane, but I'll put it there for now. And it is it can bind to some ligand that when the ligand binds to the receptor, and it's usually particular, the ligand is usually particular to the receptor and vice versa, it can set off a, a whole cascade of events. And in particular, once it binds, so let me actually draw the ligand bound to the receptor, you can have a signal that tells the cell to do something. It might tell, it might activate some genes, it might change the metabolism of the cell in some ways. And this signal that goes from the receptor into the cell to make the cell behave in some way, we call that signal transduction. We call it transduction, Sig the signal transduction. And in a previous video, I was kind of hand wavy about it. And you might have been saying, well, how does a signal actually, actually go into the cell? How does it actually move through the cell? And how does it actually make things happen? And what I want to do in this video is I'm not going to go into all of the details, but I'm going to give you an appreciation for how transduction can actually occur. And hopefully it'll also give you appreciation for, for how complex biological systems, including you and me, and even each of our individual cells, actually are. So this, this pathway that we're seeing up here, and you can see that there's a bunch of pathways that all kind of work together and, and overlap in terms of the enzymes and the proteins that are involved. This, as the diagram calls, is the classical MAP kinase pathway. And if you're wondering what does MAP kinase stand for, and oftentimes people will just say MAPK or MAPK, it stands for mitogen, M for mitogen, mitogen activated protein kinases. And you might be saying, well, what does mitogen, what does mitogen mean? Well, mitogen refers to things that cause cells to, to mitose, to, to actually uh, go into mitosis, to start replicating themselves. Now what is, so mitogen activated, so this, this pathway is going to be activated by a mitogen. M mitogen activated protein kinase. Well, a protein kinase, a kinase, and we've seen kinases multiple times. They, they, they're involved in many, many, many biological mechanisms. These are general term for enzymes that help take a higher energy phosphate, or especially I should say a higher energy bond, or a phosphate part of an ATP or a GTP, and transfers them to different molecules. And as they transfer them to different molecules, it's able to leverage that energy to actually facilitate some type of a mechanism. Now, as I said, I'm not going to go into all of the details here. This is actually quite complex, but I want to make a little bit sense of it. And you're actually going to, uh, we're actually going to talk about a few, uh, a few proteins and a few enzymes that are, that are actually fairly important to modern biological research. So what you have right over here, I'll start with this, with this molecule right over here. This is the ligand. This is the ligand. It's going to be released by some other part of the biological system from some, from, from some other cell. And this EGF, this stands for epidermal growth factor. And the 1986 Nobel Prize in Medicine was actually given for the discovery of EGF, of epidermal growth factor. Now this is going to be the ligand. This is essentially what's, you know, the, the, when this attaches or when this binds to a receptor, that's going to cause the signal to be transduced. You're going to have the transduction going into the cell. And so you can imagine it's going to bind to this membrane receptor. And so EGFR literally stands for Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor, EGF receptor. And it's part of this protein complex. And once this binds, it's able to help activate, it's able to help activate RAS right over here. And RAS, and once again, you know, all of these names, they have these interesting histories associated with them. This stands for rat sarcoma. Rat sarcoma. And sarcomas are cancers in, 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 in certain tissues in the body. And it was first discovered associated with certain ca cancers, that, uh, it, it, that rats that had certain sarcomas, that they were able to see the, 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 that there were mutations in the genes that produced the RAS protein. And because of those mutations, the RAS protein, that the enzymes associated with it, were in their activated mode. And because they were in the activated mode, this mechanism was kind of overactive and, and the, the, any of the stop signals weren't actually happening. And so you can imagine a mechanism right over here that is about cell differentiation. That, that if, if this mechanism proceeds, it's eventually going to tell the DNA 
some portions of the DNA, especially the portions of the DNA that are, that are involved with uh, DNA replication, with cell division, with mitosis, those are going to go crazy. And that's exactly what happens in cancer. So this pathway is actually a very important pathway in cancer. And you see, you know, right over here, you actually see the MAP kinase. It's often called, or it was originally called ERK which is extracellular signal regulated kinase. But this is an incredibly important pathway to, to cancer researchers. And they actively are looking for different types of drugs, different types of molecules that can down-regulate this type of pathway. So the whole point of this video, once again, I'm not going into all of the details on, on the MAP kinase pathway, but it's to give you an appreciation for how complex transduction is. You have this cascade of the signal, which is really this, you know, these phosphate groups, originally originally transferred from a GTP going to the going to the RAS and it keeps cascading down all the way until you actually have the DNA being told to or or you 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 start activating uh, you start activating mechanisms where the DNA is going to start uh, uh, replicating and then the the cell itself is going to proliferate and differentiate and that's when it goes crazy and this needs to happen in, in practically every cells in our body uh, but there's all sorts of there's all sorts of, of kind of uh, factors that keep it from going crazy. But if you have a mutation in something like the, the RAS gene, which codes for the RAS protein, then you could end up with an actual cancer cell. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more appreciation for how transduction actually occurs.